Good morning, Vexy minions. Welcome back to some more Banished. And we have returned to Delania. Not the Delania of Mountain Blade Warband. Not the Delania of Mindcrack. But the Delania in Banished. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a lot of Delanias, it seems. It's, it's my thing. It's what I, it's what I do. It's, it's my kingdom. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh! There's an upgrade button on the stone house. That's awesome. I just randomly clicked on that and found it. Okay, cool. Are there upgrade buttons on other stuff? Can we make the... Huh. I should probably click around on every building just to see if there's special buttons. Alright, anyway. Uh... <sighs> You know what? Maybe maybe I will LP banished, but uh, you know if I if I do, I think I'm gonna take it easy. Uh, you know, a lot of my series I try to be uh, try to be entertaining and energetic, and maybe banished can be the the series I do, and I just play it, and not really worry about stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I like the I like the idea of that because today I had been wanting I've been wanting to play Banished. It's late at night right now, and I've been wanting to play Banished all day, but I hadn't had a chance to actually record record it. So I was running into a situation where I wanted I didn't play the game because I wouldn't be able to record it, and I was kind of like, oh no, it's the same thing that's happening with towns all over again. Uh, Tree's getting chopped down. Why did that tree fall? Did it just die of old age? Is that what happens in this game? Hmm. So today's episode, I'd like to try and work on efficiency and clothing and tools if I can. Oh, this game is so peaceful. This is, I, hmm, I'm playing it really late at night too. I'm sleepy. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's see. I'd like to disband. Well, I'll worry about that later. But. So it looks like our food stockpile is doing okay. Let's do this up to 2x speed. So we need a gatherer's hut and the hunting cabin and we need a forestry lodge over here. I'm trying to clear land so we can get fit more trees in here. Forestry helps the gatherers and it may even help the hunting cabin, I'm not sure. But we definitely need some roads. Let's look here. We have four laborers, one builder. Uh, food is full. Okay. Oh, nope. I keep hitting escape to do that. And it just comes out. Okay. So here's going to be like the industrial section of the town. Alright. So we need... Uh, resource production. Taylor. Used to make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. Okay, cool. And does that take raw resources? It doesn't say... It does not say that it takes resources. Are there sheep in this game? Are there sheep? Do I need to get wool to make into clothing? I'm not sure about that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make a blacksmith here. And there's the road there out in front. Wait a minute, did I do this wrong? Also, can I upgrade dirt roads? Oh, I did, I did kind of do it wrong, didn't I? There's some stuff there. Yeah, 
Annabelle, huh? Hi, Annabelle. She's a female child. She's gathering fuel. Oh, so even the children help do little chores carting stuff around. That's kind of cool. I like that the children aren't completely useless. So they, I guess they carry... I guess they, the children will carry uh, the lightweight goods, like firewood and food, from the storage to... You're carrying... She's not too healthy. Oh dear. Oh, it's early winter. We have plenty of firewood, right? We do, right? I assume we do. Okay. And we've got 17 tools left, amount of stored clothes. So we still have clothing and stuff. Um... What about the, uh, wasn't there like an herb thing? Herbalist. Health and healing. Maybe I should build one of these. Out here in the uh, forest, maybe? Like right here? There. And that way we can get some uh, healing items. I don't know how that works, by the way. And also we need a blacksmith. Which I will put here, I guess. Now, if I select the road, can I... Is there an option to upgrade road? Or can I just put the... Okay, I can just put stone road right over the... Right over the dirt road, so that's cool. Um, right, and so here's the thing I built. So here's the road here. Uh, let's do it as close to the cliffs. Put the road here, then a road here, all the way out. And then like this to go up here and hit it. No, we'll need to move that rock. We'll need to move that stone out of the way, I'm pretty sure. This can go just all the way down. There we go. Alright. So we have our basic road set up. Uh, we definitely need to clear the stone here. And the iron out of the way. So we can finish that road. It'll take some time though. 63. I want to go look at the uh, this up here. So that's one percent complete. We've got to remove. It tells us that we need to remove seven more trees, and then we must go place 30, 30 logs, twelve stone on the lot, and then let's put this up to five, and then. 45 steps of building to build this. Now, I've only got one builder right now, because that's really... I think that's all I can spare. Let's take a look at the... Yeah, I've got one builder. I could put two more. Have two builders and three laborers. I might just do that. Because I do have several roads laid down right now. And they're still working to get rid of the iron and the stone. So they're still kind of uh, taking a while to get rid of that. It's because I don't really have any laborers. Oh, look at that. Look at all that iron I have in there. It looks cool. All that iron stored. It's pretty cool. Let's go look at the fishing dock. I like the buildings. They just look they just look neat. neat. That guy's fishing. How you doing? He's an educated fisherman. Levant. His name is Levant. He's a male, he's happy, he's 
reasonably healthy. He's age 28. Clothing fair. Tools, iron. It's working. Let's follow Levant around. Levant the fisherman is working. Oh my god, it's like the Sims mode. He's working. He's catching them fish. Catch them fish. Inventory. Let's see. If it was. I'm going to watch his inventory. He's got five. He's got five fish in his inventory. That's cool. We're getting fish. We got ten fish. Now, is there inventory in the dock? Does it say current season? There's fish right there. I don't know how that is. How that works? If there's actual. Um, like resources in the production uh, building or not. And construction has not started on that at all. Okay, it's spring. Nobody died. And our food is slowly going up. So I think we're okay on food for now. Still. So that's good. Uh, can I turn it up to 10 and we'll be okay? We lost some clothing on the winter. Oh, food took a big dip. Looks like our laborers are still slowly uh, trying to clear that iron and stuff. I wonder, is it because we don't have tools? Is that the problem? That we're out of tools? And so they can't clear it? Hmm, maybe that's the problem. Well, let's cancel... Let's do a big cancel order here and cancel the removal of all that stuff and just let them work on just the removal of items that are in the way of this uh, these buildings. There we go. Now it's going a lot faster. Okay, we must, we must need tools to effectively clear iron and stone, and so it takes them forever. Maybe that's the problem, and a lot of my guys might not have the proper tools. That's got to be it. All right, see, now now that's getting built really fast. Because how many laborers do we have? Reserve of stone is low, okay. We have three laborers, right? So is this being built now? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's going built really quick. Uh, I think we're out of stone, aren't we? Yeah, we're completely out of stone. So here's some stone. Now I'm going to watch this this time. And we're at 10x speed, so collect stone. This is all stone here. So let's collect this. They're, oh no, they're getting it pretty quick. They're, 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 they're doing good. Look at them go. Whee! We still have plenty of stored tools. Okay, maybe that's not it. Maybe I just gave them a huge area to work in. That must be the problem. All right, let's get all the stone that's here. There we go. Get this blacksmith and this... Uh... Oh, look at them go. There we go. Herbalist, huh? So... I don't know, let's just have one herbalist. There we go. So what did that do to our laborers? Oh, we still have five laborers, okay. We could have, we could have two herbalists if we wanted. See, two. I guess we'll have two. There we go. Nine herbs. I guess that improves eight, the health of our citizens. Is there a way I can see... Uh, how do I do this? There was a way to cycle through every single person. Uh, hold on, I'll find it. No. No. How's our food? Gotta check the food. Gotta keep an eye on the food. That's the most important thing, I think. 
because uh, they can still like I think as long as I have homes, it'll the, even like wood. It seems like they'll be okay. Uh, anyway, I could have sworn there's a way to cycle through all the all the people. Like to click on something to f cycle through them, each each and every villager. I I don't know. Is this it? Oh, that's it. Health. So you're kind of hurt. So I assume the herbs will heal them. Well, I'll keep an eye on the average health. Hopefully it'll at least stay at four, if not go back up. All right, so we've got some stone. We've got iron and wood. Good. Uh, let's get a blacksmith on working here. Go back down to one builder on hand. Uh... I would like to upgrade these roads to stone roads. And what can I do here? Can I just make this into like a double wide road? Oh, I can. Okay. That's how it works. It's a double ride wide road now. Well, that's neat. So we're going to upgrade this stretch of road here. Oh, there we go. We got it. We'll just go stone road all the way back. There we go. So that gives us a nice fast route to cut down on our travel time. And I'm pretty sure I think I can uh, remove road. I can remove this road here. Because it's not really... It's just kind of sticking out. Oh, and... Uh, we need a road to the docks. I, I, I forgot about the docks. So, did I leave room there? In between? No, I did not, really. Blah. Okay, well... Let's put a road here. And a road that goes down here. And like that, I guess. And let's make a T. Let's make a T junction there. All right. And of course, that's just gonna obliterate our reserves of stone. But that's okay. We have plenty of tools now, and we can do something like this. Get plenty of stone. Let's just grab all the stone in this forest. How about this? Let's try maybe up to here. There we go. And maybe all the stone still in here. Yeah. And maybe the stone down here. There we go. That should keep our laborers busy for quite some time gathering stone. Meanwhile, the blacksmith is just like, I'm making tools. Woo, making tools. Using using iron to make tools. And what is this? Why don't we get why don't we have three hundred herbs instead of, you know, two, and let's go down to one person there. So we can have a few more laborers. It looks like herbs aren't in a huge demand right now. And I think after a while I'll uh, get a forester here eventually, but not right now because we really don't need one yet. I look at my guys go. They're just zipping around there. Gathering resources. Alright, let's tell you what, why don't we see if we can 
build a brand new storage part over here because we're going to need one, I think. Maybe on the other side of this thing here. Maybe right here. This can be our industrial center, I suppose. Maybe right here. And hook it up with a stone road. Make it look spiffy. Heck, we can have a double wide road here. We can have that luxury, I suppose. Double wide road actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Like it's less uh, cluttered and cramped. Anyway, can we dismantle... What happens if we dismantle a... the barn here? Do we tear it down? What about the stockpile, I wonder? Yeah, they're building that barn. I assume it's the builder that tears down stuff, too. How's our food doing? Okay. 2300, good. Always keep an eye on the food. Oh, and I see. They take stuff out of that stockpile and they go put it in this one. But this stockpile's a... 100, uh, 10 by 10, so this one should be pretty massive. Let's go ahead and build a stone house here. Because we still have plenty of stone. Are we ever going to tear this? Oh, I, I derped up the, uh, the builder. So when we demolish a structure, I have a question. Do we get back resources from it? Does it turn into resources? I'd, I'd really like to see that. I'd like to watch this and see if it gets turned into uh, resources. Yep, it does. Cool. So we've got two storage barns here. May as well increase the limit of tools, I suppose. Did you ever hit this limit here? Of herbs? You're getting close. Yeah, when these when these spe like specialty things hit their limits, I think I'll uh I'll uh, just switch them off. All right, let's clear some more of this. I probably should not clear as much land at all at once because I think I'm overestimating how long it takes to clear a bunch of stuff. Oh, it's early summer. This is a great time to have my guys out working a lot. And it definitely does look like the forest slowly spreads, by the way. I like our little growing, slowly growing industrial area here. Maybe I can make another industry. Let's 
let's have a higher fuel limit. Town services, storage, food production, resource production, wood, forest, yeah, herbs, blacksmith. Uh, let's make one of these. A tailor? A tailor, huh? I'll put it here. Or maybe here at the edge. Like that. In case I ever want to have a building uh, road running through the middle of this. Yeah, let's put a tailor there. Let's see how this does here. Build. How's our food? Oh, hey, look, 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 guys. Our average health went up a bit because, of, I guess, because of the herbs. So that's cool. Of a basic town. I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point the town seems stable. Like it's not just gonna. I'm not gonna like lose my town. All right. Uh, why don't you get back into? There we go. I'll make you back into general labor. Just because we seem to not really need that many herbs. I'll keep an eye on it, though. I'll keep an eye on it. And when the, honestly, when the blacksmith gets... Uh, when we get full tools here, which is going to happen really soon, I'll... Uh, I'll turn the blacksmith off. Because we kind of need the extra labor right now, I think. Alright, we are completely out of stone, aren't we? Dang. Uh, where is stone? Collect stone. Uh, everything in here. There we go. Up oh, there they go. They're gonna go get stone. Oh, look at them go. That's great. Can I uh, extend a road out here? No, I can't. Not really. No. Blah. Maybe it'll be this. Hey, maybe it'll be this double road right here that extends down. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I know the reserve of stone is low. I'm I'm aware. I, uh, I'm definitely aware of that. What, um... Four stone per unit length. Can I make a tunnel here? To the other side of this area? Oh, wow, look at that, a quarry. Wow, that's pretty big. Huh. Mine. Iron and coal. So where do I have to put... Do I put the mines in like the... Is there a spot here for... Oh. Can I put a mine here? No. Here maybe? I can put... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can put a mine right here. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty close to the town, I guess. And... Put one up here too. This is perfectly straight over here. I think I could put an entire row of mines if I wanted to over here, right? Yeah, there we go. So one there, and then another like right there, I think, and then all the way to yeah, I could put an entire row of mines going down here. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I should, and then maybe do a tunnel through the mountain. Can I put one on this side? I put a mine. Oh, I could put a mine right there. Look at that. Do I want to do that right there? Just stick one right there. Do they do they pollute or anything? Or do I not want to mine like right in the middle of my town? I think I'll put one down here by the uh, industrial area sector of town. I suppose. Uh, 
There we go. Wait, 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 wait. There. Wait. There. Wait. There we go. Boop. So we'll put a we'll put a mine right there. And we need a quarry too. Maybe I can put the quarry over here, out of the way. Because it would be nice. Because I, I I don't know, like the surface stone seems to be fairly limited. Like it, it's not going to last forever. In fact, I'm going to order some more stone production over there. Reserve of stone is low. The blacksmith is done. You're done too. Uh, I guess we'll turn you off for now. Because it will get it'll give me a message when I get low on those resources. Yeah, st yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, stone, I gotcha. Stone is low. I know. The reserve of stone is low. The reserve of stone is low. Stone is low. By the way, stone is low. I know. We just can't keep enough of it in our inventory. There's the tailor. Uh, product. Leather, wool, leather plus wool. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, okay, it takes leather. Oh, okay. How much leather do we have? Does that show up here? Does it show up in here? 104? Well, I guess I think that's the only real use for leather is, is clothing, so we can make hide coats, I guess. Out of leather. So, sure. And let's make 150 of them, because why not? Here we go. So we can have a tailor working. Alright, how is our... We have Wow, we have 10 laborers right now. A lot of these optional buildings are disabled just because we don't... I've already built up a stockpile of each of these resources. Which is kind of cool. I wonder if... what I, I'm kind of curious about. Let me know in the comments if you know, happen to know. If, uh, if one of these workers is not needed, did they turn into laborers temporarily while the resource is full? Like, for example, my herb gathering people, since I'm, hit, I'm past the cap on herbs, do they turn... What, do, are they just useless at that point, or do they will they actually work as laborers or something? I'd like to, I'd like to know. I don't know that. Oh, look at this mine. It looks cool. You know what it looks kind of reminds me of is the uh, gold mines from Warcraft Three. A gold mine is running low. So this says it's going to produce iron and coal. I think. So that's cool. Reserve of stone is low. The reserve of stone is low. Thank you, game. Thank you for letting me know the reserve of stone is low. <sighs> yeah. Reserve of logs is low. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh... Is it still winter? Yeah, it's winter, but... How's your production going? Hide coats. So we're making clothing right now. It's definitely getting done. Uh, how is our supply of uh, leather? All right, we are we're losing. We're definitely using up that leather supply. But that'll constantly come in from hunting, so that's cool. Uh, all right, we're building up a supply of coats. Of, of clothing, so that's cool too. So we have warmth. Oh, it's early spring. Awesome. Uh, now would be a great time to just get all the resources from over in this little vale here. Uh, I'd like to put the quarry over here, I think. Oh, wow. Look at that. Iron limit, coal limit.
You know what? Hold on a sec. Let me go Google. Uh, see if I can find an answer to my question with Google real quick. Be right back. Okay. I, uh, I found my answer. Um, I think we can test it right now, actually. Uh, jobs. Builders. No. No, I won't. Twelve builders. There. Everybody's a builder now. So, I think, yeah, yeah. No, up. Damn it. No, fourteen, fi fifteen. I want, yes. There, thirteen builders. Thirteen builders. Uh, and are they still coming to finish the road? Well, they're finished. The road's really fast. Until they run out of stone. And they come back. Okay, yeah. Uh, so what happens is if one of these advanced workers, you know, whatever job they have, if they can't do their job because you've got, like, full resources, uh, what happens is they sh they'll start reverting back to basic laborers to, like, you know, if they can't do their job, they'll look for something to help out with in the labor area. So that's why even though all these people here are flagged as builders, they're still coming to clear stuff. So, short version is that there's no harm in, say, having, uh, let's go back to, you know, one builder, one dedicated builder, I suppose. Uh, there's no harm in doing something like this, where you have full, did I turn off the building or something? I turned off the dang building, didn't I? What's the X? Not, no materials, is that what that is? So there's, there's no harm in having these buildings turned on. Why can't I... Why can't I assign a... Why doesn't that work? I clicked it. Forester. Herbalist. Why can't I click the up arrow here? I can... Why can't I click the up arrows on these? I am clicking the up arrow. I cannot click builder. Oh, the mouse is fucked up. Uh, frick, fricked up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, what the heck? Oh, the... It's the mouse. It's like over this window... Ew, what happened there? Did alt-tabbing do something? Oh, God. What did I do? Uh, uh, well, well, resume options. Apply input. Audio, video. Do I... Hold on a sec, be right back. Um, okay, that didn't fix it either. I suppose I can just restart the game to fix it, but basically what's happening is my, uh, my cursor. Oh, wait, no. It's, okay, it's working again. That was weird. It was like the, uh, the actual click thingy area was, uh, in the middle of the mouse. Alright, let's go through here and fix my stuff, because it's all messed up. Oh, wow. Sure, well, let's, let's have some miners. Okay, I think every building is activated now. And there's no... I mean, there's no harm in having ten miners, because... As soon as that mine gets finished and full... Which is going to happen really fast, considering... I think that's a pretty low limit on resources there. Uh, and what is this for? The materials required to not... Oh, right, right, right. So basic labor should be is basically going to be done by any any worker that has nothing better to do. So that's not the labor is not going to really, really be a problem anymore. I'm glad I know that now. I'm glad I stopped the video and googled that. Speaking oh you know speaking of stopping the video, I think I've been going for a while and I think I've sort of kind of done. Every, we need more stone. We still need more stone. 
After all that, we still need more stone. Go get, go get all the stone ever out of here. There. I see, but not even that much stone. Yeah, see, people are still going down there to get it, even though there's. I technically, I don't have any actual laborers. Yeah, see, no actual laborers. So. So that's really cool. I like that. Uh, anyway, speaking of stopping the video, uh, I think we've been going on for quite some time, and I have gotten everything done I wanted to do. The town is, I think, operating more efficiently with stone roads in place to speed up fast travel. Uh, I do need to upgrade. I think I will click this button on each of these houses and upgrade them, especially since it's early spring. Uh, but it looks like I'm going to need to save up a considerable, uh, about 200 stone to do that properly, right? 40 times 5? Yeah, 200 stone is what I need to do that. I think I might need to build a quarry, because I'm having to go farther and farther out for stone every time. But you know what? We'll leave that for the next episode. And I will take a break now. Let's go back to 2x1x speed. Alright, well, we have gotten a lot done this episode. We've learned some more about how the game functions, so that's awesome. Uh... And I might rename this to just Vex Plays Banished, because it's no longer really a first look, is it? It's just me playing the game. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And until then, take it easy. Bye.